Oh, different. Each zero will toggle whether or not inputs are sent to the output. Zeros will not be sent to the output. The first input will be sent. So it's basically this structure here just for zeros. You know what? I think I can work with that. All right, so I've just moved that structure over there so that way it's not in the way here, but I can still use it as a reference just in case something goes weird. And so the first number will go straight forward. So we probably want a merge block there. And you know what? I think this is going to be easier than I thought it was. All right, I think I might be close here. So I kind of adapted this to work for zeros. So num normal numbers come out here until the zero comes out. The zero comes out here. It comes over here, turns left, goes this way, hits this and breaks. So that way all this shifts over to the right. And then, wait a minute. How's this going to work? Actually, I think it could work just by doing this. Yeah, so that way, th this is now here. So that way, all numbers then go through here, coming out here. The next zero to come out here will come over here, hit the zero, turn here and turn left. Shoot, I just broke that. Never mind. That was not the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, so you want the next zero to... Okay, you know what? I think my first instinct was right to put the zero turn there. So that way it comes over here, turns left, and comes straight across, turns here, and hits this again, so it puts it right back. I think that this might be right, so which means we need to fix this. So that way everything will go on, so I don't have to run through this again, just in case, in case it does work. So first number went through just fine. Next number is just fine. Come on, zero. There's the zero. Okay, breaks it. Next number goes through. What? Is there a zero that's being set that I'm not noticing? So there's a solid number. Solid number. Zero. Solid number. Oh. Oh, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is my bad. This is my bad. Alright, after... A few hours of being away from this, just trying to get a little bit of a breather from this. I think I figured it out. At least for the zero part. This is not filtering out the actual numbers yet, but it is filtering out the zeros, which... Well, that's a benefit, at least. So, with the way it works is the first numbers will go straight through. That'll be fine. The second... The first zero that comes through will turn right here, turn right here, turn left here, and go across and push all those blocks across. And then the next zero that comes along will come over here, and because this merge block will now be here, then it'll just go here, turn here, and then it'll turn over here and push it right back. I'm hoping that this actually works first of all, but okay, I'm just going to set this up to see if it does work. I haven't really tested it yet, but I think hopefully this should be effective. Zero. Nope, no zero. Zero here. Yeah, there's the zero. Cool, that works good. And it's going to quit after this one. Yep. Don't get to test the second zero. But I believe this should work. But in order to make it push, I'm thinking... I think it's actually going to be very simple. I think we're just going to have this. Mm. Are we? No. No, we're going to have... Oh, come on. Gonna have to get rid of that one. Gonna have to do this. And... Then another one right there. Yeah, that should be okay. So we'll have a detector here. And a detector here. Then we'll have a left turn here and a left turn here. And let's see if this works. Good. Still going straight through, as expected. Hasn't changed anything on that regard. Here's the zero. 
coming across, pushing that was over, and now it's broken there. Okay, good. And then the zero, that does not get interrupted, and it is all perfect! Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. I was actually not expecting it to be this simple. Man, I went over so many different variations of this uh, when I was trying to do it before on camera, and oh my god, it was just not working at all for me. Finally, I come back here, and just after thinking about nothing for a while, it actually worked. For each zero... Puzzle 15 already, wow. For each zero, output the zero, and then output all numbers received since the start of the puzzle or since the last zero in order. You'll get up to five numbers before each zero. Hmm. Oh, this one's going to be a bit interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Of course, starting off with the zero filter, because why not? It says up to five numbers before each zero, so I'm just going to do a line of them like this. Whoops, get rid of that one. Three, four, five. I don't care if this is right in the middle of the pathway. I'm probably not going to be using it anyway. Then I'll have merge blocks. That should be... Hey, no, not there. Bad merge block. And one next to this one. Okay. So the first number that comes out... Needs to turn here. Nope, nope, nope. Turn left here. Come across here. And, oh, man, I always keep overshooting it. Then coming over here. Then the next one will basically be doing the same thing. You know what? This might actually work just fine. I hope it actually works the way I'm planning it here. Okay, have this all set up now. It's all good. I shoved it over just one more so that way I could have all of these be on the left turn here. And let me see here. We're going to want to have each one as it comes by its turn. Activate, it, activate pistons so that way the next one has a green turn right here. So let's just get that set up. Okay, that works. So how is this going to work? Uh, let's see. I think that we could have it so that pistons push them in like this, right? Just like, just like this, come on. There you go, just like that. So that way, this is when they're all activated, and this is like the fifth one, it's pushed in already. So that means we're going to need to shove this backwards. Whoops. Shove this backwards, and get rid of one from the top row here. The only one that doesn't require a piston pushing is the first one, because, well, that's the first one, right? Okay, so this one ends up going... Okay, so we, we want a piston right here. Next, on the side next to each piston. Or detector block, I'm so sorry. But to get to there, I think we're going to need left turns. And we're going to need simple conveyor. Shoot! I think that this is going to require a bit of finagling. Okay, so the first one, we're going to come up here, turn left, come up here, turn right... Then we're going to need to turn right again and come straight in like this. So that way that pushes the next one up. So that way... Uh, you know what? I think we can get rid of all these right turns here. And we're going to need to have two right turns like this on each one. Just basically filling up this entire back row. Putting a white block here. And, you know what? Let's see what that does. Let us see. So the first one... Oh! Oh, my bad. I moved it all up, but forgetting to move this one as well. <laughs> That's a little bit of a bad user error there. Okay, there we go. There's the first one. 
Pushing that up goes straight into the first slot. Second one comes along. Doesn't do a single thing. Because I replaced all the empty blocks with... With yellow blocks. Oh, this is going to be a little bit trickier than I expected it to be. You know what, actually, I think that it's going to work out like this. Instead of right turns here, we're going to put a whole bunch of left turns. And then left turns right here next to the pistons. And let's just walk through this so I'm not waiting for another test to fail. So the first one comes up here and does this thing like it did before. So that way that pushes this one to right here. And so we're going to have the second one come up. Turn left here. And there's an empty block right there. Yeah. Not gonna work. Shoot! Man, this was so close. I thought I was close on this one. Alright, so I've decided to remake this just a little bit differently. So that way, instead of going horizontally, it's going this way. Horizontally in this direction. <laughs> uh, just because I was having trouble with it laying in this kind of format this way because I wasn't having enough room on this side and then I would have to make like a weird thing coming off the side. Basically, it was just easier going like this. And I've also set up the exit path for all the numbers, so that way when they stop here and then everything gets pushed off here, they go this way, and they push themselves, or they, they go back and reset this whole thing so that way the stops go back here, and then they go back around and go into the, in, into the output. I feel like that should probably just be a merge block. Might not matter in the long run, but at the same time, may as well try. And so in this kind of format, I'm thinking there might be something different here. I'm thinking that we might have some kind of different filter system than we were, what we were looking at before. One that's a little bit more modular than the other one, because the other one was just a little bit kludgy and was not working at all well for me. I could not make it work no matter how many times I tried it. So I definitely want a left turn right here. And a left turn here. Here. Here and here. Yes. Along with a run up to this. This is looking very similar to how it was before, honestly. Not sure if this is exactly the right path for it, but you know what? We're going to have to work with it. Well, what we could do is instead of a arrow block here, we could have a piston and detector block behind it. So that way it pushes that out of the way. Although we would want to push that in just a little bit more so that way the detector block was pushing in a conveyor block. Yeah, no, you know what? This could work. This could work. Let's put the another piston right there. And let's see if we can actually just do this. And then for these ones, I'm just going to fill those with detector blocks. So that way it's a nice, easy toggle there for the zero. Speaking of which, we'll use a left turn here. Conveyor and conveyor here for the zero. The zero will come over in this direction, so we'll need a left turn there. And we need it to activate the pushing for this one. So we'll have a detector there. And you know what? We'll just have a conveyor belt here with a merge block like this. Yes. Yes, I think so. I think that this is going to work. And we just need a couple more blocks there. Oh yeah, we also need these ones. Okay, so let's just run through this. So a number comes in here, goes here, turns left, comes across here, pushes this across, so that way now there's... This block is right there, and that block is right there. And there's a hole right here, which does not really matter. And that goes into the stop. The next number comes along... Sees that there's a conveyor block right here, and goes and does the same thing. Does that over and over and over. Once the zero comes, then it's going to come out here, turn left, 
reset all of these ones. Turn left here. Uh, release all those, turn right, and go straight into there. You know what? I think this is going to work. I hope this is actually going to work. I don't know if it definitely will. So far, so good. Yes. Oh, there's the zero. Release all of them. Ah, uh, perfect. Perfect, and it reset itself perfectly. Oh, this is a wonderful day. There's the fifth number. Man, I didn't actually expect that we would get a fifth number on this one. It's kind of cool. And everything's... Man, how did this... How did I not figure this one out before? Well, it's because I was working with different dimensions over there and I was kind of limited in my... Thinking because I was thought it was limited in my capacity. Hey, this is a really good solution. I quite enjoy this one. This is actually a really fun one. Awesome!